Guys, guys, come on, get in the truck. We gotta go to the Farm Progress Show. Iowa, Illinois. Trying to bought the sign. Uh -huh. Welcome to Illinois, everybody. So we should have a pretty good week this week. We're supposed to meet the Welkers. Brian's farming video is gonna be here. And I believe with some diesel. Geez, Neva, did you pack for two weeks? All your other bags are in the car still, buddy. <laughs> okay. And originally DC was supposed to come with us, but it sounds like he has body aches right now. His chest hurts. He feared he should, probably shouldn't be around people. So we'll see how he feels later at the end of the week. Good news, Coop's here. Oh, we've been having a good time. It's been crazy. Let me see your eyes. I just woke up. You look like you have pink eyes. Someone farted on his pillow. <laughs> Not me. Is your phone in your right hand? Are you looking towards the front of the hotel room? Is there a bald man standing to your right? Now look up second floor, you see three ugly people. Hey, go like you doing, bud? Would you get up because I walked in? Yeah, yeah, see that? See that? Hey, Dave, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. God, I'm hungry. Let's go, let's go. You know what, Cole? The one thing I don't want you to do is pass out on me tonight, even tomorrow. So let's, what do you say? Let's just roll this carpet it's up probably. and let's head on that. We walked to two different restaurants, 30 minute lines. We're just gonna eat pizza in the parking lot now. It starts raining. Until it starts raining. Can you feel the sprinkles? Yeah, that's someone peeing off the roof. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> What's the difference, Travis? You smell like pee anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda hurts. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting the camera to come on. <laughs> Wait, are those tears? Yeah, those Victoria's Secret tears. That's what cologne I wear. So earlier, Travis was oh, talking to me and he pulled one of my hairs out of his beard. You can only guess how he got there. So, I'm like, the I'm town's got 400 some people in it. This ship's got wow. 3,000. Age changes man. every time you ask her. I, yeah, you remember 98, huh? I do remember 98. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there though. <laughs> We're on our way to day one of the Farm Progress show. Last night, we got to meet all the Titan Tire people, really nice people, played some cornhole in the parking lot, Whistling Diesel's camera crew came out, coo, camera crew, and his photographer. Haven't met Whistling Diesel yet. He was in his hotel room editing, so hopefully here in a little bit. Might get to meet him, but I'm really looking forward to meeting a lot of people today. It's gonna be a good show. Boogity, 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 boys! Hey, morning, sunshine. Good morning. <laughs> You guys look tired. No, not, not tired, just defeated. Welcome to the Farm Progress Show, Neva. Is it always this cold? <laughs> It'll warm up later. Hey, hey, hey happy birthday. Hey, thank you. Hey, long time no see. Heck yeah. How you doing? Hey, I'm on time this time. Hey, you're on time this time. <laughs> hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome to the Farm Progress Show. Oh, don't you look all bright and cheery. I know. <laughs> I even got a clean shirt on today. You went to bed at like 8.30, so you should I'm be good. I'm so wide awake right now. And <laughs> four cups of coffee doesn't hurt either. All right, guys, here we are. This is the Titan Tire booth. We're going to be here for the next few days. We got the 340 up front. This is our 340. And over here, we got Welker's 8230. They're beast buying. They got 1400s on that as well. In the center of it here, we got Big Bud, the world's largest tractor, 747 horsepower. Things a stinking moose. God's not looking, so I think I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> we'll climb right over it. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh man, we got a TV in here? What? Man, we are in high class stuff right now. No GPS, so I don't know if I could run this. Yeah, Big Bud, boom. This is the world's largest tractor, and I am sitting in the seat right now, this is pretty cool. Hey, you, you. Then over here we have this really small, average looking truck. I honestly don't even know why this is here. Oh boy. We got something here. Whistling Diesel should be here any minute. Cody is his name, I guess. I think that's what they call him. Um, got wreckers here. And then we're gonna pick it up. And then they'll take this hoist here, back under it, pick an axle up, and then put the tires on. And then uh, it should be good to go. And then they'll jack it up. It goes up like two feet, so got to raise the suspension and everything, and then it'll be ready for the show. And then the best part of the booth back here, we got old Rusty Wheels. This is our sprayer. She's decked out with American flags right now. So this is where we're going to be spending the next few days. This is going to be pretty cool. Hey, Scott, Scott did you Photoshop my face? You like that? You made me look terrible. We're going to do some interview stuff, so 
the fancy stuff. You know, what? I guess we and, have and to we work get, while we're here. And we got security here. keeping everybody away here. Everybody away. That's why I'm here. Scott's a cop, by the way. Want to borrow his mustache? Do you ever see completely yeah. ensemble? I can't. You know, actually, one. Cole is. I was going to say he tries to grow that, but yeah, just doesn't. You make up for it in other places with the hair. It's I like guess. Yeah, my vibrant, chest hair is yeah. incredible. <laughs> Makeup! Hi, Scott Sloan, Ag Product Manager, Titan Tire Maker. Wait, 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 one second. Sorry. Come on, Scott. Come check us out. Come see this guy. We'll be here. You get a picture with me. Only fifty dollars a picture, know. though. I don't know. Why would Just they take a picture with you? Maybe a picture okay, with me. Okay, picture with Scott. Get or a picture how about with Scott? Us. It's a hundred dollars a picture. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you here. Thanks. Can I do your intro? Sure. All right. He, wait. What's your name? James. James is up. Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Oh, Neva, they're firing up Big Bud. All right, guys, largest tractor in the world. They're firing her up. Sounds pretty aggressive for a four cylinder. If you've been watching for a long time, you'll remember two years ago at the Farm Progress Show, we have the guy who did the intro. Hey. Cole the Corn Star. Hey, no! Hey, 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 hey. You're in charge of lunch, dinner tonight, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna get a number. Okay. And we'll figure out where you want to go. Where do you think we're gonna want to go? Where do we think? Where do I think? Where do you, what do you, what's your suggestion where uh, we're gonna go? A private place that has no uh, subscribers there. Okay. Ooh. And no sticky tables. Uh -huh. And one that won't crap on my shirt. It did crap on your shirt. It, it did crap on his, it. did crap on his shirt. He leaned against a pole and he crapped on his shirt. I will get it figured out. What time is it right now? Uh, uh, hold on, Tuesday. Sun, sundial. Tuesday. Here, Tuesday. here. He'll yeah. Yeah. Now. It is one twenty-seven. Exactly. So Neva and I have met like it feels like a thousand people so far. We have to hide out here in a little tent in order to eat because we literally can make it two steps before we run into somebody, and then like a group of thirty forms around you, makes it difficult to eat when you can't get anywhere. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just enjoying life. So, Cole, yeah, you're out doing your big, big star YouTube video thing. Well, I'm making a video right now. Cole, over there signing autographs, and I'm sitting here doing all the work. Yeah, yeah, so just better be careful, because I'm watching you, watching you. Chinese fire drill. Hey, cool. Hi. Love the video. Dude. Nice sunglasses. Thank you. Nobody likes me. Nobody says hi to me. That's okay, because the only person I care to, that about saying hi to me is Carl. Uh, <laughs> we're displaying a new type of grass. It's not Kentucky bluegrass, though, so we don't care. Go pet the puppy, Neva. Go pet him. We picked up some hitchhikers. <laughs> they said they were giving us a thousand dollar tip if we took them to their vehicle. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> and we're going fast. <laughs> I asked them what kind of ride they wanted. They just said we just want to go. So we're going. You got more people. All right. It's another thousand bucks. All right. You're a dreamer, aren't you? <laughs> hey, somebody's got to be one. Ah, there's an RV. That's a wild brown brine in his natural habitat. So the show just got over a little bit ago. Neva and I have been walking around talking to some friends and we somehow stayed here like two hours afterwards. But earlier Whistling Diesel announced that whoever could do the most chin-ups off the back of his truck would get their name and possibly their face on the back of Monster Max 2. So Cody did 27, a kid earlier did 30, I just did 36. So I guess right now I have the record. Just picture that guys, Cold Corn Star with my beautiful face right there. 
I like it. Day two of the show, Coop. How do you feel? We went to bed before midnight last night. I actually went to bed before 10. So uh, we're energized and ready to go. My throat's back to good. So I think, uh, should we get for another 10 hours? Travis? Living the dream. Excited for the show. Uh, it's going to be another big, great day. I think we're going to have a lot of the FFA kids in. Um, you know, just just out here moving tires. Oh, oh <laughs> somebody's in the house. Hi there. Hey, joining us during the big show today, Cole the Corn Star with the Farm Progress Show. Uh, Cole, you're a kind of the main attraction here at the uh, Titan booth. So tell me a little bit about what you have here that everybody's interested in seeing. Well, we brought down our Case Magnum 340 and our sprayer. They're outfitted with Titan tires, so they're all coming around to see the tires, see us, get some signatures and photographs. All right, you're kind of a YouTube star. What's that all about? Well, we just run around with the camera on the farm and we film what we do in our day-to-day -day operations. We try to make it fun and I don't know about a star, but <laughs> we have fun. If you do it here five years now. There's Cole Cornstar. I've been meaning to run into you too. Hey, wait, wait. wait. Let's do this. Water up front for everyone. Can we squeeze as hard as we can? Okay, do you want me to squeeze as hard as I can? Yeah, let's see it. Just a few minutes. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's as hard as I can do. I can't do any harder than that. Holy smokes, guys. Whistling Diesel's got a crowd over there. We got a crowd over here. Oh, oh hi, Kim. <laughs> oh, hi, Cole. <laughs> Magic mullet. Magic mullet. Please report to the principal's office. <laughs> Hey, I want everyone to look at this. Paul is a great example here of what to wear to the Farm Progress show. <laughs> well dressed man. Just missing the hat. I, I'll work on that. And the pit vipers, but it's okay. I can't pull those off. <laughs> hey, welcome everybody to uh, our little meet and greet here with Paul the Corn Star and Cooper. What got you into this and what's your thoughts when you do this every day? I mean, you literally do this every day. Well, kind of the idea behind it was. When I was in college, I had a lot of people asking me, hey, what are you doing on the farm this weekend? Or what do you do during the winter time? And I'm like, you know, if you live in Iowa and you don't understand what goes on on a farm and you're around it all the time, how's the rest of the world supposed to know? And so, and I got on YouTube and I, I like farming. So I started looking up some other farming videos and I was like, I can do that. And then, so it just kind of went from there. My I'm name's Eldon. Luke. I'm Eldon. I'm from Farmersville. And I'm skipping school. Well, say, like, you're learning up here, aren't you? Yeah. You're up here for the educational purpose, yeah. Jared. Where are you from? Illinois. Laporte, Indiana. Indiana. Julian from Savannah, Illinois. Hey! hey. We're from Louisville. Louisville, I'm from Illinois. Walnut. We're from Walnut, Wyna, Illinois. Cool corn stars, the best. What about any shout out to any girls? You got, like, a special girl you need to shout out to? Uh. My uncle likes uh, the mullet man's girlfriend, so shout out to her. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> hey, can I get a picture? Yeah, some glasses. Yeah. Calm down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you think everything's turning out, Kristen? I think it's going very great. Still a ton of people Mine here. Mine was all the way to the sprayer. <laughs> yeah, it was all the way back there by that little mini big bud wrapped around the front here. The whole time. Island way, boys. <laughs> Hey, I know you from the parking lot. So Cooper and I have literally talked to... Since 8 a.m. We have probably talked to 3,000 people. Yeah, it's 3 p.m. now. We've been talking to people all day, like 15 seconds in and out all day. It's been awesome. My voice is feeling it. it feels good. It's awesome seeing you guys, but it just feels good to relax. Yeah, so we're going to head over to the Case IH booth now. We're going to Badger Corporate. See if we can get some Case tractors out on our farm. Go ahead and fly in the front. I think the harder old did better than that. I guess. I think Davis stayed home today. Golly. Harder. I think if you kill it, it absorbs it. Let's see this baby. I watched a kid do it five times in a row. Woo, 220. <laughs> See, you're murdering it. I'm still getting higher. One more. 
There's a catch to it. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 hang on a second. Uh, hang on. Would you guys over security! Sign our microphone. Security! Oh, jeez. All right. Hang on a second. Take a breather. Wait a Come on. I'm ready. I think. <laughs> All right. I want you to sign my hat. Okay. All right. Don't mess it up, though. Okay. I'm really Can nervous. I'm getting kind of old. Yep. Dodge Brothers. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> yep. Oh, right. no. Where does Cole want it? No, this is for me. This yeah. is not This is for, for me. Where would you like it? I want to you to put it where the, you would put it. There's so Nick Welker. Buddy, That's really pretty cool. So oh, that, that looks phenomenal. It doesn't. It's, it's awesome. I mean that. Nick, your penmanship is terrible. I mean, yes. look at that. Look at that. Nick, yeah. walk, on. Walk, so, on. walk on. Walk on. Nick, walk on. Yes. And, uh, so Isn't that is, super? Uh, is that a mop or is that a mullet? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm a poodle. Do, do you feel like? Are you like a sheep? If I touch you, do you feel like a sheep? Yeah, you kind of feel like a sheep a little bit. I mean, you look better. Sheep are good looking. Oh, hey, we found Carl. I don't know if you guys ever met Carl before, but he's one of my friends. Hey guys, let's race. No, you have an energy drink. It's not fair. Yo. <laughs> so I just got reports that someone else did 36 pull-ups off Whistling Diesel's truck, so looks like I have to do 37 now. And Cooper found our walkie-talkie radio, and we've been I talking did. to security. Where'd it go? <laughs> Can we get chicken strips, uh, cheese curds, with some lemonade at the Titan booth? Thank you. What'd you get? I lost track. <laughs> I just said 30, I, I was at like 37. 36 or 37. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to see the replay. Proof. It's right oh there. God, You've seen it. So if you guys remember yesterday, Nib and I picked up Bob. Back. He's back again. He was just waiting for us. What are you? We're driving for a fort? Yeah, something like that. Carl, I want you to meet our friend Bob. He's from Raleigh. I can't meet him. I already know him. You're Bob. Yeah. Bro, you're <laughs> his oldest son. <laughs> oh, okay. Geez, he don't live too far from me. You guys are friends with Bob? I picked him up yesterday. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. This world's too small. Yeah, we just met each other yesterday. Bob said his wife kicked him out, so he's hanging out in the camper. <laughs> Not a bad place to be. <laughs> hey, it was good introducing you two to each other. <laughs> yeah, it was nice that we met. This is just a service that Cole's Valet provides. Hey, we'll send you the bill to your address. Carl knows where you live. Yeah, I'll just hand deliver it. <laughs> he knows where I live. <laughs> well, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Oh, boy. Who do we have over here now? Right by Bob. Little Mike, Big Brian, Bob, BJ. We locked the... You guys are little and flexible. I need one to crawl through my window because Dad locked the camera Blame door. Me. Blame me. Calls more flexible. Do you really need Carl to climb through there? <laughs> Get over here, Carl. And pull that thing up here so I have something to stand on. That's what happens when you lock your keys in your RV. Come on, BJ. You got it. You got it. Hey, just remember, if you fall, I got it on film. So, um, everyone talks about cool sunglasses and how cool he is. Well, I'm pretty cool myself. I got my over-the-glasses glasses, so <laughs> compete with that. All right, Bob, let's see yours. These are $179.95. Holy smokes, what are they made out of? Gold. Yeah, those are pens right there. $2, Walmart, or uh, Sam's Club. There we go. You buy a 12-pack, your two six-pack for 12 bucks. Yeah? I got mine for free. <laughs> That's what I figured. Anything else I need to know about this? If it catches on fire, you got a fire putter outer in here? No. Just walk away. Okay. Just walk away. <laughs> you guys heard it here. So my friend Brian's rocks over here, and I was going to try to see if I could drive it in there, but there's probably a decent amount of security in here, because Lee Bryce is playing tonight. So I'm going to see if I can walk in without a wrist. Man, we've got to be confident, guys. Slim. Okay, stay. All right, now here's the thing. we got to find Cooper. He's here somewhere. we just got to look for his hair. If I had to guess, I'd say he's up here. Yeah. Moral of the story is, if you have a camera, you can go anywhere you want. All right, this is the Big Bud 747. This is the world's largest farm tra tractor with the world's largest ag tires made by Titan. So he's got a key here. We're going to turn it on. Hit the start button. Right here. Right here. Interested in having a conversation with Robert Williams, the Williams family. I'm not going to go. Here we go. The afternoon. You know, I kind of wonder where uh, the tractor was sitting. Or the Monster Max, you know. Yeah. Hmm, wonder. I wonder where. So if this put it to any perspective, this is our height, right? There's Big Bud's height. Oh, man. Oh, my. Look at that. 
size difference here. There's 340, there's Big Bud. That puts it in comparison on how big Big Bud is. There you go. Absolute mammoth. Doesn't even just put it in size. I mean, it's insane. Makes our tractor look tiny. Oh, it's Seth. <laughs> he laid there for three days and people walked around him and that's what, that's what happened to the grass. So this is Cody's camera guy and then this is uh, Cody's hitman. So yeah. let's see who that is. <laughs> yeah, he's the, he's the muscle. <laughs> the muscle. Let's see a flex. I don't, I don't want to rip my shirt. <laughs> That's awesome. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this guy just randomly drove by and seen we were struggling with life Watch here. It. So, well, if I had a plastic, wedge. he's been here for maybe 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, I'm less than a minute. Looks real serious. No, Stop filming, guys. You gotta go up higher. Come up. Oh. back up on this trailer and these act as skids and from what I've taken as they back up uh, it picks up the back end and then it comes back here and the tires are actually off the ground and then once they back the low boy on or when they put the front attachment on then it picks the front of the tractor up. This looks homemade. I've never seen anything like this. There you go. <laughs> it's a universal tool. It'll work. It'll go. Bet. Look at that. Wow. wow. No, I know. <laughs> Tires are on. It's going back. Oh, no. Robert broke it. Robert. Uh, I hey, duct tape. We got some, we got some skid. Ba bailing some, wire. The big buds, you know, all the other big buds, including this one, this thing will flip up in the air, and then that radiator engine and that whole assembly slides right out the front end. Including this one, or is it? This one doesn't do that. This is a prototype, you know, but but uh, other big buds. So if you're in trouble out in the field, you know, you can flip that up, a truck will come in, they'll slide that right out. Take it right it, out of there. And, and then they can bring you a, a replacement one. So it's just slicker and all get out. If you are rich enough, you could have another motor sitting on a stand in your shop and you could swap them in and out, and how long do you think? The, the, the company, oh, you could do it in a half a day. Really? The company actually had a service truck that would come out to the field, and uh, if you called them, if you blew a rod, or you did something, you know, to the engine they needed to rebuild, they just had a loaner, and they'd bring it out. And in a half a day, they could have you going again. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? I know you couldn't invent something like that. Well, it actually, it's, it's genius. So it's simple, easy, few parts. I don't know. Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. So look at all the. You can see where all the welding went on in here. I mean, this stuff is. That's my finger. That's how thick some of this stuff is. Insane. It's pretty cool. But it's so easy to access things in here. Now they jam everything so tight with electronics and all that bull crap. You can't even do anything. I mean, look at these bolts on the hitch. Massive. Oh, close. Deep got it. Got it. <laughs> Holy cow. We are up and off. Look at that. I think me and Scott are going to head out of here. They're going to pull the tires off, but we got to get going. So, uh, yeah, this is a cool experience. Very cool. Very cool. See ya. We had a slight change in plans. Once I got back from the concert, I got a phone call from mom. She said, dad got taken to the hospital. Comes to find out he has pneumonia and he has Rona. So they admitted him to the hospital. And then Nava started going downhill real fast. She was just feeling super weak, could barely move, was sweating buckets, was freezing. So I came back to take care of her. And then I figured, you know what, I probably shouldn't go to the show. So we actually packed up this morning 
headed back here. So Neva's recuperating now. Dad's still in the hospital. He's feeling a lot better. He says it's been the first time in a week that he's actually had an appetite. So sounds like he's doing well now. Sounds like Mama Cornstar's not feeling well. Hey everybody, you may not know this, but I'm in the hospital right now. I'm on the mend, everything's going good. I'm sure I'll be out hopefully in a day or two, but uh, I feel bad. I didn't get to go to the Farm Progress show. I was kind of under the weather and uh, missed seeing everybody down there. It was one of my biggest highlights for the year is going to the Farm Progress show being with my boys and uh, just something I was looking forward to and being down there with Titan tires and everything. So I was glad Cooper and Cole got to go. I'll get mended here, get back home. I'm ready to get back to work. And uh, But sometimes you got to do this. If you're not feeling good, you got to let the doctors do their job and uh, do your part too. So here in a little bit, I'm going to jump in the shower and hopefully shave and stuff. I just feel like a mitten stuck underneath a grease rag right now. So, but anyhow, I wanted to let you guys know I was thinking about you all and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. We're just gonna kind of maintain our space from everybody here, but if you came to the show and stuff, Dad was so excited and looking forward to coming and when he found out he couldn't come because he wasn't feeling well and didn't want to be around a bunch of other people, he actually started crying. He was looking forward to it that much. And I, I feel fine. I sound like this because I talked to so many people yesterday. I lost my voice. But I feel good. We're just going to try to stay rested, keep up on our vitamins and stuff. So that way we don't get sick. But we had a really good show. Ha! Ah, my arm was getting tired. We met thousands of people. It was awesome meeting everybody and visiting and just from all over the Midwest. It's super cool. So if you came out to the show, we really appreciate it. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to spend much time with Whistle and Diesel. I talked to him for like 20 seconds on a golf cart and then we had to go and then the whole sickness thing went down when we were supposed to hang out. So sometimes that's how it goes, but He's the guy see Monster Max, so that was pretty cool. So Cooper's actually still at the show right now. He's riding up with other people, so that way he can kind of stay away from us. But I need to unpack the truck. Holy smokes, why have so many bags? And I need to cook supper. And my microwave's not working. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.